What is up guys, welcome to another video. Before the main video starts, a um, couple weeks ago, got a awesome, awesome muskie with Brandon and Eric on the new moon of September. Um, right off the bat in the morning, it was raining. I uh, didn't have cameras up and uh, stuck a nice little one on a chopper Brandon did. So that was kind of the kickoff of the day. And uh, throughout this day, wasn't getting too much action until evening happened and uh, these fish came came alive and uh, started coming to the boat pretty hot and heavy. Um, not seeing them visually, but with electronics. In the last week or two, I uh, ended up getting a live scope. I know everyone's not in, a, in an agreement with a uh, live scope, but uh, using it the last couple of weeks, I have learned so much on fish behavior. And uh, one of the coolest tools now that I got um, basically the main reason I really wanted this thing was, uh, for my customers, for guys that are fishing in front of me in my boat, um, especially night fishing, uh, this, I'm just so bummed I didn't get this three years ago because to think about how many fish probably would have, um, caught using this little technique, I'll show you. I don't have it really rigged up here, but, um, uh, this is where my pole is and when it gets dark or close to dark. I will actually point my live scope to the front of the boat and have it shoot out like 30 feet or so. And now this allows me to pay attention to my screen and see if my people in the front of the boat have follows or not, which is very cool. No, because more times than not, um, we catch these fish going around three, four times and it's unfair for us guides in the back most of the time. We have a side still in our back there so we can see the fish that follow um, but now people in the front of the boat can uh, see their follows at night when it's pitch dark i'll just say in the back of the boat hey you got one coming um try not to spook them because <laughs> it is it's so quick you see just their baits come in and then you see a big red flash you just have more confidence um, i know at night you're always supposed to do your one for sure big figure eight definitely probably do two as well but um uh, that evening, I think they had probably five or six follows on live scope. They were just moving. They unfortunately did not catch any, but uh, I did end up getting one in the back of the boat on a ninja. Um, we may have lost one. That could have been a different evening. Anyways, a different evening or the same evening. They're kind of all blending together, but uh, had a guy go around seven times. He would have never known this fish was there. Hooked up for a second and uh, lost it. So... Um, yeah, definitely very cool technology. Just so cool for night fishing. Um, just have, be having confidence, knowing if fish are following at night is uh, just so cool. So anyways, yes, I'm uh, just gonna hop into um, this little fish catch. I got one coming. Figure eight. Still there. giant oh my gosh all righty all righty oh gosh nope nope all righty yep lift 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 oh my you're good God. you're good nice. keep right holy cow six times or whatever we gotta keep. Oh my gosh, here, here's this. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, folks. That was wild. This is a destroyed ninja. <laughs> and a very, very excited musky. We're gonna work fast because these muskies are moving. And these boys need to catch one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I said I wasn't gonna be happy if we didn't get a 45 tonight. I wish it was one of you guys though. <laughs> that was nuts. Hey, I'd love seeing other people. <laughs> it's a team sport, but holy, right yeah, that is a, that's a that's that a, might be a reach after. I don't know if I, <laughs> yeah, that, that was nuts. All right, I'm gonna get the camera rolling, get hey, the pump board out. Maybe that's you have the net in your mouth. <laughs> Look at that head on here. All right. Get this girl back if you want to kneel for me, buddy. Get a nice. <laughs> oh, how's she looking? On the figure eight. Might need to back off a little. I don't know how bright that is. Awesome. Let's get her on the bump. All right. Oh, she's not even that big. Just real, Just real big. 43 and three quarters. I thought she was much bigger. Eh, maybe almost 44. But what an awesome animal. New moon. Thought she was a bit bigger, but. That's all right. It's just the start of our night. We fished all day, pretty much. Want to go over the side with me? That's a great, great start. I just can't believe how thick she is. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Not wow. Scars on her. No, she is perfect. That is such a. Wow. What are you? How are you only that big? <laughs> I thought you had a four. Plus yeah, at least. How about that, girl? Look how big her back is. <laughs> awesome. Nice release on the Ninja. Um, I think uh, one of you guys are going to be throwing that too. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep fishing. Beautiful 44 incher on the Ninja. The Ninja has uh, been proven to be an awesome night bait. So if it's what I'm throwing or having one or two in the boat, um, been the uh, go-to bucktail in my boat uh, for night fishing. Um, I'm gonna hop into uh, today's video where I get out finally uh, with my mom this year on a nice cloudy day up here in Northern Wisconsin. So guys, enjoy. What is up guys? Welcome to another musky hunt here. As you can see, the leaves are changing. Fall is here. Mom moved up north uh, this year this summer and um, about three hours away from me. So we have not really been able to fish, but uh, today we're meeting halfway and uh, I'm so excited. Supposed to be cloudy all day, but there's a little bit of sun peeking out right now. So hopefully it's just the one little instance of sun because uh, as you guys know, she can catch him on top waters. That's for sure. So, oh my gosh, you got him, you got him, you got him. Just keep reeling, keep your head down. That's a big one, that's a big one. Keep her, keep her good. You're good, you're good. Just keep her down, keep her down, keep her head down. Yep, keep your rod tip low. Oh my gosh, yep. Holy Got her! Holy That's a adventure right there. Holy Oh my God! That is a 45 inch. Just keep her, keep your rod tip up. I'm swearing, I'm swearing, I'm swearing. Oh, you're good. Um, I'm hoping to have her throw a top water all day and hopefully hook into a big one on some giant fish water. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully her luck continues. Um, it's been been a good year since she's caught one. So just waiting for her at the launch right now. And um, I'm so pumped. It's, it's got to happen today. I'm so excited. <laughs> I did not have my chest cam running for whatever reason, but that sucks because I did say at least uh, right before that amazing top water eat, my mom's had another. Gosh, that was a freaking mid 40s, I bet. That was a big one. Oh, that sucks, but uh, give us some hope. Nice cloudy, cloudy day with a little bit of drizzle here and there. 
Well, that was that was definitely a 45 plus inch animal. That's, that's animal. <laughs> ripped your arm off. I didn't scream though, did I? A little bit. Not too, not too much though. Well, that one would have been worth screaming for. That was a huge one. Well, not giant, giant, but big enough. <laughs> another, another time. Well, definitely the warmest part of the day so far, and that yeah. thing decided to eat. Well, another musky bite out, out for you, mom. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not many people can say that. Well, we got plenty, plenty of daylight left. Oh, that would have been cool to have one in the boat, though, right off the bat. Well, I think my mom is probably one of the luckiest muskie anglers. Another topwater bite just didn't happen um, on the XL chopper. This chopper has not got a 45 plus this year. This is uh, actually this week in September. Um, for the last three years, I've spent a 45 plus in the boat on that bait. And we were close, but uh, got plenty of other spots to hit here. Hopefully. Some redemption, Mom. That was close. Pretty good for your first outing this year. Well, I guess we went out for a little bit. Clear off of that hour. Yeah, but this is the real outing. <laughs> Spot, here we go. Alrighty folks, it is 5.30. We are uh, kind of knocking on the fourth quarter here for muskies. Only that's one fish, <laughs> one bite. But it was the right bite unfortunately, and it just came off. I've switched to a flap tail going top water. I personally have not caught a nice sized muskie on a top water in a couple of years now. And uh, it's almost October, so that time is almost over. Um, it is full moon week and the lake we're fishing is a flowage and it's a little bit different than last time I was out here. Water's down a few feet and the spots are a lot different. The weeds aren't necessarily there. Um, but yeah, just that one nibble. If we would have had that in the boat, that would have been something else. <laughs> I've never, uh, ah, this is crazy. I don't know how you do it, mom. Not sure how you do it. Get a bite every flipping time, pretty much. That's the first heartbreak, though. Yeah, there's your arm still hurting, right? <laughs> yeah, I took my eye off. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch that uh, little replay on that one, because that was that was a that was the best top water bite of the year. But. Um, yeah, just fishing the same kind of summer spots. I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not. Just trying to find the cabbage, the existing cabbage, and hopefully. But yeah, it's uh, you can definitely feel that uh, fall is in the air. Feels pretty cold out. <laughs> Leaves are changing, and uh, still got clouds. Hopefully this evening, though. Got another hour or so. We did move one fish on a little ghost follow deal. Never really came to the boat, but we do have one located in this area, so. Just one nibble. One more. Oh, come on. Musky. I marked her, she was out deep, and then top water went over her head and she came shooting right up. Oh, gosh. Did not touch the lure. Yeah, it was a small one, like 37, 38. So, but that would have been nice. <laughs> good, good way to end up today, but dang, that was a close, close, close encounter. Gee whiz. Oh, 
flipping close to greatness. Um, this is one of my favorite time periods uh, to go fishing for muskies, at least in my boat in the last three, four years. Seems like uh, during the September full moon period, we just get opportunities at uh, big Wisconsin muskies, 45 plusers. I think last year we got a 46, a 47, and lost a couple other mid 40s. So, year before that, I think a 46 and a 45. And I know Ramzel got that 48 and three quarters with me during the same time period. Um, so, that would have been absolutely amazing if my mom would have capitalized on that fish. Um, what do you do when they bite that close and that aggressive and you know that's a really her first time out musky fishing this year and of course she gets smoked um on that chopper again um i don't know how much more lucky you can get in uh musky fishing um but uh it, whatever it works super fun day meeting up with my mom um great memories in the boat just didn't happen um we had two opportunities and yeah <laughs> just kind of how that lake rolls not often you get uh, too many chances out there so hey at least we had an opportunity at a big one but uh yeah that's kind of a wrap down i know i threw in that uh, fish clip in the beginning of this that 44 awesome fish um didn't really know where to put that so <laughs> just threw it in the beginning of this video um figured hey it's a nice catch not much much of a story to it other than a nice fish during the new moon period. So anyways, got a couple days before the full moon here. Uh, Lee's coming up. So looking forward to that. Hopefully we can pop a big one coming up here. Typically during this, this weekend for the last few years, there's been a cold front that comes in like today, but a uh, nice northwest wind cold front. Not with all, the, not an east wind deal like we've been having uh, so often this year, so many east wind days. I don't know if you guys have been noticing that, but uh, not getting those west winds or those northwest winds or southwest winds that I absolutely love. So, but uh, yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be windy. Hopefully that uh, goes well for uh, Lee and I coming up here. But either or, that was a fun day on the water with my mom. Super close to greatness. I hope the camera caught caught that awesome bite. Uh, I have not seen a topwater aggressive strike like that from a big fish at all this year. So cool to see. Um, hopefully before fall sucker time happens, we'll get a few more opportunities at some topwater fish because it just hasn't happened for me in a while. So, but either or fun day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.